Good morning. I hope you're well. Thank you once again for joining me for yoga. So today we're going to be doing a 30 minute morning yoga. So it's a good opportunity right now to pause the video, <clears throat> maybe put on some music. You can search Pandora for Pandora Yoga. Spotify has a lot of meditation playlists or yoga playlists. So you can go ahead and put that on, grab your blocks, a strap and a blanket, and then settle into your seat. Close your eyes, sit up nice and tall. Start to come to your breath. And what that means is just start to notice it. Maybe deepen it. Pull the shoulders a little bit, front and back. And then switch the, to the opposite direction. Drop the head, lift the head, drop the chin, lift the chin, keep the spine long. Now drop the chin, <clears throat> round the spine, sit back, shoulders forward. Feel free to open the eyes if you like. And then inhale, straighten the back, lift the chin, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Almost like you're pushing your heart space towards the ceiling. Exhale, rounding. These are seated cat cows. Inhale. And exhale, last one. Inhale. And exhale, neutral spine. Very nice. Just fold yourself forward. It's early. Maybe you can get the forearms down. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. It's super early. So just feel what you feel. Breathing into those spaces. Sending yourself some love and kindness. Right? Meeting yourself. Meeting your body where it's at. So if this is too much, come up onto your fingertips. That's fine too. If this is too far, go here. Doesn't matter. You go where you feel it. Walk over to the right, turning the chest down towards that leg. Press that left sit bone down into the mat. And then walk yourself through center and go over to the other side. Feeling what you feel. Finding joy in what you feel. If your breath at any time becomes a little labored, you've gone too far, just pull it back a little bit. Come back to center. Maybe reach forward a little bit more. Maybe try and see if you can get your forearms down now. Drop the head. Shake it from side to side. And then come and sit up. Very nice. Okay, inhale the arms up, please. Exhale, left hand down, right arm overhead. Inhale back to seated, inhale up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm over, some side leans here. And inhale back up, one more each time, each side. Inhale, exhale, arm down. And then inhale back up to neutral, inhale up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm over. And then release, very nice. Come onto hands and knees, please. If you have sensitive knees like me, feel free to pad them with a blanket. Not too thick, you don't want it too much, too thick because you'll throw your alignment out of whack. Okay, so just enough to give yourself a little cushion. So find your tabletop middle finger pointing towards the top of the mat. The fingers are spread wide. When you are ready, you're going to inhale, curl the toes into the mat, dip the belly down, gaze forward, squeeze those shoulder blades together and shoulders away from the ears. 
Next, exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, press the mat away, round the spine up to the ceiling, and the tops of the feet come into the mat. Inhaling and exhaling on your own breath. Getting anywhere from three to five rounds of this. Mindful meditation, moving breath. I'm going to do one more. Come to a neutral spine. We're coming into child's pose. Make it a wide-legged one. Bring the tops of the feet on the mat. Big toes touch. Spread the knees as wide as the mat. Sink your seat back down onto your heels. Walk your arms forward. Drop the forehead down onto the mat. Feel the lower back getting a nice stretch. As you can walk your fingertips up, you'll feel the shoulders engaged. Breathing through the tightness you may feel. It really helps to visualize the breath coming into your body and being dispersed to those areas that feel tight. And now we're gonna make our way back to child's pose. So gaze forward, lift your seat up, readjust your knees. Right leg comes back, reach that heel back. Feel that beautiful stretch in the calf as you gaze forward. We're gonna take a short balance here, lift the back leg. Top left arm comes forward. If you'd like to bend that back leg, you can reach around and grab the top of the foot. You do not have to. Wherever you're at, you're going to release and come back to child's pose. I mean, tabletop, sorry, sorry. We're gonna do the other side now. Left leg comes back. Really press that heel back. Feel that beautiful stretch in the calf. Gaze forward. Now take our balance. Lift that back foot. Toes continue to point downward. And if you would like to reach around, you can go ahead. I'm not lifting too much on this leg. I have a knee issue, so I don't wanna push it. Know your limits. It's really important. Release. You don't wanna work through pain, okay? You don't wanna work through pain. If there's pain, you stop and you do something else. All right, let's meet in uh, tabletop. Uh, I can't speak this morning. I guess I need my second coffee. We're going to meet in plank, <laughs> plank pose. Heels reach back, heart reaches forward. Press into downward facing dog. Walk out the feet. I'm going to move my blanket out of the way. Okay, I may need it later, but I'm gonna move it out of the way. Find your down dog, nice long spine, head is hanging, and I'm just jogging out my feet. Now, gaze forward, bend the knees, and you're gonna walk to the front of the mat. Okay, took me one step, could take you three or four, you could hop, fold over. Bend the knees, straighten the knees, bend the knees, straighten the knees, fold over, forward fold, Uttanasana. Now bend the knees, roll up. Top of the mat, hands to heart center, find your Tadasana. We're gonna take a couple of sun breaths here. Slow and steady, feel each movement and try to have one movement, one breath. If that doesn't work out, that's fine. Just make sure that you are continually breathing and you're not holding your breath. Inhale, the arms come around, big circle up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, hands to the shins, gaze forward. Exhale, fold over. And then inhale, we're rising up. Lift the head, straighten the back. And exhale those hands back around. All right, we'll do that again, a little quicker this time. Inhale, exhale, folding over. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Palms touch, gaze up. 
Exhale, hands back to heart center. Okay, I'm going to add on to that, so just listen to my voice. Inhale, follow my cues. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, we're planting the hands into the mat. The right foot is stepping back only. Drop onto that, that back knee. Rise up into a low lunge. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Feel what you feel. Feel where you feel it. Palms can touch. We're going to exhale the hands down. Keep that right hand down. Left arm feels open for a twist. Here's where if you would like to add on, you can lift the back knee. I also like to stay on my fingertips rather than drop my whole hand down. Drop the left hand down, drop onto that knee, rise back up into a low lunge. And then hands come down, lift the back knee. We're going to walk our hands over to the right, just halfway. Now we're in a wide legged forward fold. Pigeon toe your feet a little bit, big toes point in and just fold over. <sighs> Try to walk the hands back so the fingers are maybe in line with the toes. Feel free to bend the knees if you like. And then take an inhale, straighten the arms, gaze forward. Now we're going to walk over to the right some more. You may not be facing your phone or iPad or computer at this point, that's fine. Just listen to my voice. Drop onto that knee. We're doing the same thing on this side now. Low lunge, but that right leg is in front. Exhale the hands down. Left arm, left hand stays down. Right arm peels open for a twist. If you would like to lift the back knee for a little more, you can. Try to keep reaching out through that back heel if the knee is lifted. Drop the hand, drop the knee, rise back up, low lunge. Exhale the hands down. Now we're lifting the knee. We're going to come back to center. So walk over to the left, wide legged forward fold, adjust your feet. Make sure the big toes are pointing slightly inward and fold over. <sighs> Grab hold of the ankles or the calves if you like. Draw yourself down and in, as if you're trying to get your chest on the other side of your thighs. Now bring your hands back to the mat. Inhale, gaze forward. Walk the hands forward, coming into a wide-legged downward facing dog. So your hands are forward, you're dropping the chest down, reaching your sit bones back. So you're now in the heels of your feet. The balls are still connected, but the weight is in the heels of the feet. Drop the chest towards the floor. And then walk the hands back. Now we're going to take a twist. Take the right hand, bring it underneath the face. Middle finger points towards the front of the mat. Well, what's now the front of the mat. You can also take a block and put a block here. Like this, I'll show you. You can also take a block and do that. On any height. And then you're going to peel that left arm open. Nice twist. Comes from the ribs. Try to rotate those ribs around. And then release. We're going to go right into the other side. It's okay to notice differences in the sides of your body. One side typically feels a little bit more open than the other. Doesn't make it bad. Okay, let's try not to attach any negativity to anything that we're doing. And then exhale, just fold over one more time. Gaze forward. Now we're continuing to walk our hands to the left. Toes point towards the left. We're going to come back up to the front of the mat. And we're folding over. Bring the heels and the toes together, ankles together, knees together. We're going to rise up, but we're coming into a chair pose. So sink your seat down, root those feet down, press into the mat, squeeze the thighs together, lift the chest, Utkatasana, chair pose. And then stand back up. Tadasana, let's try Utkatasana again. Inhale, sink the seat. Squeeze the knees together. 
lift the heart up. Let's take a twist here, bring the hands to heart center. We're gonna to twist to the right, so the left elbow comes on the outside of that knee. Take a look down, that left knee wants to pop forward, keep it in line. So pull it back. And then release, fold over, straighten the legs. Find your chair again. This time bring your hands to heart center, twisting to the left. That right knee, pull it back. And then release the twist, straighten the legs, fold over. Inhale, gaze forward. We're gonna take a vinyasa, so exhale, bend the knees, hands come to the mat, step back the right foot, left foot, we're now in plank pose. We're gonna lower down through our vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now's your opportunity to come into child's pose. You also have an opportunity to take a headstand if that's in your practice. Or you can just hang out with me in downward facing dog. Keep reaching the chest back. The head is free, hanging. Drop to hands and knees. And we're gonna thread the needle. So the right arm reaches up. Take that beautiful twist. Exhale the hand underneath your body. Come down onto the shoulder and the cheek. Rotate that chest open for a nice twist. And then unwind, come back to tabletop. Let's go right into the other side. Left arm reaches up. Exhale it underneath your body. Come down onto the forearm, I mean onto the shoulder, sorry. And continue to rotate the chest around. Some people like to take this top hand and give a bind. I don't love that. It doesn't feel steady on my neck. But you do what you do. If that's your move, do it. As long as you're in, as long as you are in a proper alignment and you're not hurting yourself in any way, then there's really no wrong. If you want to go further, go further. If you want to pull back, pull back. Release that, please. Come back to tabletop. All right, come up onto your knees. I'm going to turn and face you. You might want to do this as well because we're going to use the, the mat and the heel of the foot it might feel more comfortable on the mat. We're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna bring it out to the side. And lean. If you would like to pad, I'm gonna pad my other knee. Sorry, this is what happens. Active people, right? We tend to break down, but we keep going. We tend to keep going, which is good. All right, so we lean into, so you feel it in the groin. Lean into this leg and then come back up. We're gonna straighten that leg, flex the toes. We're gonna to do a little side body workout here. So inhale, both arms up. Exhale, the right hand down, leaning over this leg. And then we're gonna to come to the other side. So like a little windmill here. Reach the right arm across. Keep that right foot flexed. Come on up again. And then switch it. So just keep breathing, please. Last one. Nice windmill. This feels really good. And then rise back up. Hands to the waist and we're just going to switch sides. So bring the left leg out, keep it bent for now. Okay, make sure that heel is in line with the knee, give or take. You don't want it in front, too far in front or too far behind. And then lean into that leg just for a little bit of a groin stretch here. Come on out of that, straighten that leg. 
Okay, flex the toe, flex the foot. So now you're getting a nice stretch here. All right, we're gonna do our little windmills. Inhale, we're going left arm down first. Really reach. Don't forget to move your block to the other side if you're using it. Inhale up, other side. Reach over. Come on up, that's one. We're doing three of these. This feels really good. So it may not always be practical for you in your life to get an hour, an hour and a half yoga class in. I get that, I really do. That's why I've been doing these little 30 minute videos. And last one, because if you can move your body for 30 minutes, you will feel so good and so happy that you did it. And given everything that we have to do, last one, 30 minutes feels like a lot less overwhelming than taking an hour or an hour and 15 or an hour and a half for a class. I totally get that. And then come back up, really nice. Okay, so we're coming back here. Let's check the time. Perfect. All right, why don't we come on to, why don't we come and sit down? Stretch, straighten out the legs. Coming into Dandasana, seated staff pose. This is Dandasana. So nice and tall. This is a good opportunity. If you have a strap and you want to use it, take it, bring it around the balls of the feet, but bring the elbows in close to the ribs and sit up nice and tall. Inhale the arms up. We're going to exhale, fold over, reach the heart forward. Nice long spine, forward, forward, forward. Grab hold of whatever is available. It does not have to be the toes if you cannot reach. Then you grab the ankles, but you're closing the energy circle. So grab onto something. Don't have your hands hanging out. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Reach that heart forward. And then on your exhale, surrender to the pose and let it go. Let's stay here for five breaths. Breathing into those spaces that we feel are working right now. Allowing for a slight pause here. Giving our body time to do what it does, which is open, relax into the posture. So you should not be holding on to any tension here. Hopefully there is no tension that you're holding on to. The head is relaxed. Keep reaching that heart forward. It's a big stretch for the low back. And then just release that. Ah, oh, feels really good. Take one knee, bring it up. Straighten it. Other knee, bring it up. And straighten it. All right, right knee comes up. Drop it out to the side. John, you shear shasana. I'm going to turn to face you. Okay, notice how I'm sitting catty corner. I'm not facing the straight leg. Okay, that's the adjustment you need to make. Typically, it means bringing the knee back a little bit. So inhale, reach up, exhale. Now you twist to the straight leg and fold over. Keep that left hand. If your left leg is forward, you're gonna keep your left hand down on the leg or the foot and open the right arm up. If you started with the other side, then just switch the direction. And then release it, fold over again, over the straight leg. And come and sit up, take a nice twist over this bent leg. And release. Just go right into the other side. Keep the straight leg nice and flexed. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn to the straight leg and fold over. I have a little knee problem, like I said, over and over. So I need to pat, prop up my knee a little bit. Just bother me. So I'm not in particularly good alignment right now. That's because I'm having 
the left knee problem. So do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to keep the right hand down now. Open that left arm up. Beautiful open twist here. Feel the length, fingertip to fingertip. Feel the ribs rotating around. Now close that hand back down, fold over one last time. Rotate the chest down towards the leg. And then sit up. We're going to twist over this bent knee. A little bit more of a tighter twist here. And then release. How nice. Okay. Do me a favor. Straighten those legs again. We're going to come into our Dandasana one more time. I want you to see if you can feel the difference here. Notice the difference in the openness of the legs when we fold over. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. This is seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. We did this before. Notice if this feels any different for you right now. Let it go. Drop the head. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, right? Maybe you don't notice it. That's fine too, but we're here. Just draw your attention to the areas of the body that are feeling this beautiful stretch. Send some love, compassion, understanding to those areas. Send it from your heart to your low back, your hamstrings. And release. All right, come and lie down, please. And take a block with you. We're going to do a supported bridge pose. If you have a ton of energy right now or you would like to challenge yourself or go a little further than what I'm going to be doing, feel free to take a more traditional bridge, which is lifting up the hips without any support. Otherwise, I'm going to do this on the medium height. Feel free to put it on a higher height or even the low height. We're going to take our Setu Bandhasana bridge pose, notch that chin down towards the chest. Inhale, lift the hips. I'm placing the block on the medium height for me, underneath the small of my back. But there's three heights to the block, so go where you want to go. I'm shimmying my shoulders a little bit under, so puffing up my chest. And I'm going to stay. Five breaths here, please. This is what I'm doing is a supported bridge pose, supported Setu Bandhasana. Feel the breath flowing through you. All right, so we're going to inhale, lift the hips, lower the block to the lowest height if it's not already there. Okay, make sure that it is comfortably on the small of your back. And then you're going to lift your feet into the air for supported shoulder stand. If you have a shoulder stand practice, I never practice shoulder stand. No matter what class I'm in, I don't like how it feels on my neck, so I just don't do it. If you know how to do shoulder stand, and if you have practiced in class with trained teachers, please feel free to take your shoulder stand right now. Most importantly, please don't move your neck around, especially if you're in your full shoulder stand. You're putting a lot of weight on your neck, so you don't want to move it around. So we're going to slowly come on out of this by bending the knees, bringing the feet down onto the mat. You know how to get out of it if you're in full shoulder stand. The rest of us are going to lift our hips, move the block, drop the hips down, hug the right knee in, hug the left knee in, give it a big squeeze, rock a little from side to side. Bring your arms out in a T. We're going to take one last twist, then we'll come into a short Shavasana. Drop the knees over to the right. Try to keep them as close to your face, your chest, as possible. Keeping that left shoulder tacked down. Find whatever twist works for you. Now we're going to come through center. I'm dropping my feet, bumping my hips to the left, pulling my knees back in, dropping them over to the right, readjusting my right shoulder so that it comes down onto the mat. 
If it does not come down, put a block under it. Not a block, it's too high, like it. You want your shoulder connected. Connected to the mat. And then bring those knees back to center. Hug them in. Give yourself a nice squeeze. You have finished. Now, if you would like to get up and just turn out your lights, feel free. Right leg straight, left leg straight. Palms face the ceiling. Try not to be touching any props, if at all possible. As you lay on your mat, try to find a comfortable spot where the head is just falling into its natural resting place. Feet are falling to their natural resting place. And you're feeling fully supported by your practice and your mat. Let your mind wander where it will. If you find thoughts coming into your brain that aren't serving you at this very moment, then just kindly send them on their way. No need to have a conversation with it. No need to have any negative emotions or thoughts attached to it. Just politely through your mind, say not right now, and we'll think about something else. Feeling your breath come in and out through your nose. Now wiggle your fingers, please. Wiggle your toes. And then hug that right knee in towards your chest. Really squeeze it in. Release it and hug the left knee in. Now bring the right knee to meet the left. Hug both knees into your chest. Rock a little from side to side and then roll to your right side. Turn your forehead so it is resting on the mat or the floor, stimulating your third eye. It's one of our chakras, which are energy points we have running from the top of our head all the way down to our tailbone. And then press your left hand into the mat. Come and sit up. Do your best to try to keep your eyes closed if possible. Sit up nice and tall. Find your comfortable cross-legged seat, which is called Sukhasana, which translates roughly to easy seat. It's not always easy to sit in silence like this or to sit in stillness. Bring the hands together and heart center. Bow the chin towards the heart. Take a moment of gratitude here for yourself, for coming to your mat doing what you needed to do to make this happen today in the midst of everything else you have going on. It really is important to acknowledge all that you do, to acknowledge yourself for the small things as well as the big things. We're very quick to criticize ourselves and we're not so quick to heap praise on ourselves. So let's flip it, okay, for today. And just for today, find the goodness in yourself in those small moments and those things that you do, those everyday things that you do for other people and for yourself. Find the goodness, find the appreciation and the gratitude. Try to find the positive and the happiness and the joy. And then eventually, maybe when you least expect it, you'll notice a shift in how you feel more often than not, or a shift in how you think and how you can turn a negative into a positive. How you can look on the bright side more often than not. How you can be a ray of sunshine for those you love and for yourself. So be your biggest cheerleader. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to practice with you 
through this video and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you. And it's Mother's Day weekend, so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Have a great day.